Hey guys and welcome back to Roan's Corner. Today we're getting back into the regrowth series. Now today's episode is going to be a little bit of uh, utilization I suppose you'd call it. Now we've got a couple of chests going around but we're continuously just everything is all mi mixed up everything is all over the place and I don't like it I, I just don't like it so we are going to start making some storage spaces now, as you can see we've got another tree that's grown over here but before we get into that we're going to finish off a quest that we started last episode from what the world came to be now we had made the diluted mana pool and we made the mana spreader now the diluted mana pool has actually filled up while we've been away and that means that it's now ready to make a proper mana pool so we take the second diluted mana pool that we made and we just throw that into all right don't play basketball throw that into there and we get a mana pool now this holds twice as much as that but unfortunately there's at the moment we don't have a way to get that out so what we're going to do instead is if we can find where we put the See, this is why we need to make some new stuff. This is why we, we've got to make some compartments and we're going to make some drawers and some improved chests. But for now, we need seven of these. Yeah, seven of these. And oh, we've already got one. We're going to make a mana spreader so we can transport all the mana that we had in our diluted mana pool. And we're going to put it into our new mana pool. Our full-fledged mana pool. Now, in order to do this properly, we're going to all right, we're going to go you there, and we still yep yeah, still in bind mode. So shift right click that and click over to there. So now that's going to start filling. Up. Oh no! I put it in the wrong spot. All right, we're not going to lose too much. That's okay. I'm going to break this and we're going to put you there instead because we're going to need to put you in there. If we shift right click, shift right click, now this is going to take all the mana out of this pool and put it into this pool. So now it, now we can tell you to go there. Because once this pool is empty, we're going to take this and throw it in there and we're going to get two mana pools set up. Oh, we could even take that mana and put it back into this mana pool and, you know, set this up somewhere else. But we'll get to that later. So we can... Cool. Yeah, we can clone this. So, oh, Nightshade or Daybloom? Daybloom's are better, but we're going to go with Nightshade because we don't have any Nightshade at all. So when it comes to night time, our mana production just stops. Now, if you remember in an early video, we said that if you checkerboard these, they work better. So we're going to checkerboard these like that, and they will work fine as is. There? No, not there. Okay, now, the Hydro Angiers... Uh, what? What? Okay, I don't know what happened there. Continue working. Okay, and you're finished. And bear with me one second, people. Uno momento, por favor. And we will get you back there. Okay, it's cool. So we've got that. Mana spreader pointing to there. Uh, we could probably break that mana spreader now. We don't need you there. Oh, something exploded. All right, I, I still need to find a pasture seed or two pasture seeds actually, so that we can spread this over to here as well. Uh, but that's going to happen probably off camera uh, or during camera, just by accident. Who knows? We'll see when we get to it. Alright, now to get into what we're actually going to be doing today. This is, as I said, this is going to be a very storage-based episode. Oh, compost bin, it's essential. Alright, yeah, we'll, we'll get to those. We'll get to those later. Focus, Ryan. Focus. Focus on what has to be done. Um, what the world embraces? Yes, what the world embraces. Okay, so we've got a few things here that we want to make. Uh, first thing we're going to do is look at compartmentalization. So we need to make a compartment. Now, if we go into our NEI, remember that this is your best friend in this mod pack because there is a lot of things that actually get changed. All the recipes change in this. So we go to compartment from Binicore. 
we need four chests, a book, and four buttons. Now, what does this say? Compartmentalization. In an effort to organize your storage a little better, you've managed to design a variant of chest you've taken to calling a compartment. The compartment contains multiple small inventories, which can be labeled with a name, color, and icon for easier identification and navigation. So this is going to be amazing. This is going to be really, really helpful. Now, we've got uh, cook stone in here so we can make our buttons. I planned in advance that we were going to do this, so I got the stone to cook in. Um, and take you, but we're going to need more. So it's a good thing I chucked down some wood before as well. And we're going to make... Oh, no, we need more than that. One, two, one, two. Oh, uh, if you shift right, uh, not shift right click, if you just uh, right click on the, uh, that bit in there, uh, in the crafting bench or station, you'll click out a stack or as much as you can if you don't have a stack in there. Alright, so we go bop, 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 and the buttons in the corners, and we need a book. Uh, one book. And put the book in the middle, and we've got a compartment. Ta-da! Now, put this down here, and you can actually have a look in this. So, see, we've got different tabs. Now, you can make bigger compartments, and it gives you more tabs and more storage space, and they turn out to be really, really good. Uh, oh no, Ron RC. That's me! That's me! Okay, we won't bother about putting the tab names and stuff in just yet, because we don't want to leave it there. So, for the reward, we get seven more compartments. Yay! to break this okay cool so I don't think these actually join together like these chests either so we're gonna put you there uh, 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 there and we'll put one there and we'll put one there so you can see that our storage space is coming along rather nicely you actually can stack these on top of each other but yeah Let's see what that looks like stacked up actually and does it do anything it sounded like it made something explode, but no, it doesn't do anything when stacked on top of each other. So now we've got our compartments there. That's just one of the storage methods that you have available to you in this mod pack. There are others, like the better chests. So we need to make an improved stone chest. So if we go into our NEI and look up, imp not improver, improved duh. Uh, and we look up, oh, where are we? Improved stone chest, here we go. Look up you. Oh, okay, up the top here. Yeah. Okay, so we need four cobble, four planks, and a bit of wool. Now, as you can see, there are no sheeps in this world. So this uses the four string, I believe it's four string. Four string, yeah, four string to one wool method. I'll put you there, and before I put you there, we need some more planks. But, 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 put you in the middle. And cobble, we need four of you around the corners, and we have an improved stone chest. Now, these can be placed side by side, and they will turn into a double chest. But if you change the color on the top of these by using a die, then you can... Ooh, all right, our pickaxe just broke. No, not pickaxe, our axe just broke. Put you there. We'll pair it on the go. Thank you, Iguana Tinkers. Tweaks. Alright, so if we claim this reward, we get four more improved chests. Now, uh, I'm going to actually move all of this stuff. I'm just putting them down to show you what they are. So we go boop and boop. Oh, actually, these have already different colours on them. Okay, cool. If that's the case, then we can break you all. And, oh, okay. Huh? Okay, well, they don't stack after you break them. So if we put one there, and we put one there. It turns into a double chest. So we can't put another one there. But if we get one with a different colored top, we can put them next to each other. So you see, it saves on a lot of space as well. Oh, we got zombies. We got zombies. Where are you, zombies? Where are you? Are you anywhere near my base? No? You're not inside my base? Oh, he's over here. He's at the front door. Die. Give me your flesh. Give me your gorgeous flesh. 
I'm going to hang it up on a drying rack and eat it later. In any other instance in real life, that would sound extremely creepy. But in this, in Minecraft, it's fine. Alright, so we've got improved chest, improved chest, and normal improved chest. Double chests next to single chests. You could even have double chests next to double chests. It doesn't matter. The possibilities are infinite in this mod pack. Well, not exactly infinite, but... Oh, I'm going to make sure that that music is down low, because that sounds loud in my ears. Turn you down. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, as I was saying, they're not limitless, but you do have a lot of them. So if we get back into our book, you can see that we have plain swapsies. So basic upgrade. Damn, you're telling me you already had a bunch of standard chests placed down and can't be bothered moving everything into fancy improved chests? Don't worry, I've got you covered there. To start, you'll need to make a basic upgrade from stone and paper. Okay, so that's getting into upgrading normal chests into our improved chests over here, which might be worth it, but we won't bother too much about it. Uh, I get Alright, screw it. Let's do it. How do you make it? Move, Bandicam. No. Um, oh, if we put... Uh, what's this called? Enhanced Inventories. Enhanced. Here we go. Okay, so if we look at basic upgrade, we need one piece of paper around four cobble. So we've got plenty of cobble. How are we going for... Oh, we've got just enough. Just... Oh, actually, I can't do it in there. Doopy. And can we turn book into paper? Is that... Like, is that possible? No, that's a dictionary. It should be shapeless, shouldn't it? Yes, we can. We can turn one book into two paper, but we're going to want those books later, so we'll leave them as is. Get some paper, and get some cobble, and we'll just make two for now. Okay, so if we clean that, where are you here? Basic upgrade, uh, stone chest converter. Then craft the basic upgrade with the improved chest to get a converter. The converter will allow you to swap out a basic chest with an improved chest in place, with the contents being moved into the improved chest. Simply right shift, right click uh, the chest with the converter to do this. Oh, okay, so it's not turning those into chests. It's swapping the chest. Okay, cool. So we're actually going to take two of these and we'll leave you back there. So if we put you there... And we put you there. No? It does, yes, that works. Now we get two stone chest converters. Okay, so we can claim this and we get four improved stone chests. Now if we come here and go shift right click, shift right click, and voila! We've got our two normal chests in our inventory. And we've got the two improved chests down here with everything inside it. How cool is that? It makes much easier work for changing up all your storage space. Doesn't matter even if you've gone so far into this mod pack that everything is already laid out into chests and you really can't be bothered swapping everything around. So that's good. That, that will actually come in handy. Uh, the next one that we're going to move on to now. This is actually one that I use quite a bit. And I think we might have enough wood, but we're going to get a little bit more just in case. You can never have enough wood in these sort of mod packs, especially when you s just start off. So break down, or break down, or cut down these trees. Et voila. Um, those will eventually drop saplings. We'll just have to come back and check on them later. Ooh, there's a skeleton up there. Oh, these dire wolves are back. Neck off, you dumb dire wolves. Shut up! In between episodes, I'm going to turn those off. Because they are really, really annoying. I'm really just going to turn those off. There's a way that you can do that in the config. Um, I might record myself doing that. And if you guys want me to put it up, then I'll put... Oh, 
yeah, I'll record myself doing it and I'll actually put it up just in case. Just as a side video. It won't take that long, just a couple of minutes. Now, before we run out of time, we're getting off track again. We're going to look at this drawing from experience. A simple set of wooden drawers should be sufficiently useful to provide a convenient, attractive storage alternative to wooden chests. The storage of the drawers is divided evenly between slots of the drawer. A full block set of drawers has a capacity of 32 stacks of items, so if there are two drawers, it can hold up to 16 stacks in each. Comparatively, a half block set with four drawers will only hold four stacks per drawer. So you can get ones with one drawer, ones with two drawers, and ones with four drawers. So it's two by two, one by two, and one by one. So we need to make a one by two oak drawer. Uh, oak drawer. Okay, we need to make one of these. So we need two chests, and we need seven bits of wood, uh, of planks. Uh, one, two, three, four for the chests. Yep. Whoops. Yep. Wait, what was that? A solid oak wood door. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, so we've got our two chests, and four plus three equals seven. So we have enough planks of wood. And I have done something wrong here. There we go, and we have oak drawers one by two. We get two of them per recipe, so that's all right. Okay, let's have a quick look over here. Yes, we've got plenty of saplings that have dropped. We've even got an apple that dropped over here too. Bonus! Ah, don't want the apple. Actually, can I craft this and this into an apple tree? No, I cannot. Okay, bugger. That is not in this mod pack. Punch you there, you're there, and you're there. And you go up one. Beautiful! And they are ready to grow our next set of wood. Yes, they are not trees to me, they are wood growers. I don't think that does anything. Alright, so let's get into our book and we can claim the rewards for these oak drawers, which gives us t four 2x2 two two oak drawers. So you can see now that we've got lots of different uh, alternatives, I suppose you'd call it, for our storage crisis. Heaps of things. So the way these drawers work is if you have a stack of items or anything like that in your hand, you right click on a slot. So if I was to right click there, go in there, if I was to right click there, go in there, in there, go in there. And at the top you can see drawer one has oakwood sapling three. Now if I shift left click or shift punch it, I get one. If I was to normal punch it, I get a stack. So that works with all of these, but you have to remember that, you know, certain drawers, uh, certain draw sets hold less items than the others. But, if I am correct, and I am not correct, okay, there's actually uh, add-on quests over here about upgrading these, and so we'll probably be able to get to those later. So, I want to get into, I don't have, in order to make bags, you need wool, and I don't have enough string to make the wool, so we'll get into that at another episode, but that is something that I desperately need. Like, desperately need, I need more inventory space. So, before we go, though, we're going to get into the last, or try and get into the last bit of storage, which is a better barrel. Now, these are pretty cool, I quite enjoy using these. I use these a lot in any mod pack that I can. So what we need to do is we need to get oak slabs and we need to get a chest. So we make a chest, put it in the middle, put an oak slab up the top and surround that by logs. They can't be anything else, they have to be logs and you get a better barrel. Now these act sort of like the drawers except they only hold one type of item. But they can hold up to 64 stacks of that one item. So that's quite a fair bit. And that is without being upgraded. You can upgrade these later to hold more. So that's pretty cool, you got to admit. And as a reward, we get a sticker and a barrel hammer. And I forgot to read that bit, but oh well. We're running out of time, so unfortunately I'm going to have to leave it there. 
Ah, oh, portable storage. We'll get into that later. We don't have the materials for that. We need metal. So I'm going to have to leave that there for today's episode. Twitch port card. Look, get away. I'm going to have to leave that there for today's episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button down the bottom. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. If you have anything that you want to say to me, leave it down in the comment section below. And until next time, this has been Roan from Roan's Corner. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Roan signing out. Peace.